was looking for an agent. I had an agent when I came right out of college, but he wasn't quite right for me. And then uh, I started like putting in some calls and some emails. And eventually I got myself into some meets in the Caribbean. Like I think it might've been like Guadalupe and Barbados. It was like two meets and they're like, yeah, we'll take you. I got myself in myself with no agent, you know? <laughs> and so I'm sitting there waiting to get my money after, because I think I got like second or something like that. Um, so I'm waiting afterwards at the, in the hotel where they're dispersing the money, which only agents usually go there. You know, agents go, they put their name on this list. And then as the, the names kind of get crossed out, they go in one by one. I'm waiting and I, and I, I didn't see the, the list on the door. So I'm just like, I'm next. I'm going in next to get my money. <laughs> and then an agent pops up and he's like, uh, you waiting on something? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to get my money. And they're like, uh, your agent? So I was like, I don't have an agent. This guy happened to be Paul Doyle. And uh, I don't know if you guys know who he is. He's a, he's a pretty big agent in the sport now. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he was just kind of starting out. He had a few athletes under the belt. He's like, look, man, I'll get your money for you if you want. He's like, there's a list here. And, you know, he explained everything to me. So I was like, all right. I'm waiting right here though. <laughs> Cause I, I didn't You're not about to take though. my 20% on the way out. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. so you jumped hard for that money. I did. I did. I did everything. I did everything on my own. Like I bought my own uniform. I got my, you know, booked my flight to get out there. You know, like they paid for the flight, but you know, I, I like did everything for the most part. Um, but anyways, I talked to him and I had been talking to some agents and they were selling me some dreams and stuff like that. But I talked to him and he said, uh, he was he was like, well, what's your goals? I was like, you know, I'm trying to make Olympic team. I'm, right now I'm trying to get overseas and compete over there. He was like, I can get you overseas. That's not a big deal. I was like, yeah, right. Sure. That's what everybody's been saying, but I haven't been going yet, you know? And so he's like, yeah. He was like, give me your contact information. And then that's when me and Paul linked up and literally he had three meets ready for me before I even went to the national championships. And prior to that, all the agents that I had been talking to were saying, you have to, uh, <clears throat> you have to make the team first before I can send you overseas and, and go to any track meets over there. So, which that is basically them telling you, I don't want to work for you. You do all the work. And then once you have a name for yourself, then I can get you in all these meets, but they don't, the athletes don't always realize it's like, you don't really need the agent at that point in time to get yourself. You made the team. You've got your, you've got on the team, and now they're hot. You. Exactly. So, um, so he had already had me in three meets before I even went to my nationals to be on the team. So I was like, okay, well, this guy seems like a pretty good. And he, everything he's been saying he would do, he's been doing. So I stayed with him, and literally, I was with Paul my whole career. We never even had a contract. Never even signed wow. a contract with him. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, we we're, we're great friends to this day, but, um, yeah. So I went to the nationals. I did a little better. I think I got fourth, jumped like seven, four, and I started feeling things are starting to come back. Then that summer, uh, he got me in one big meet. I said, that's the meet I'm going to go and I'm going to jump high at that. Meet. And it was like Lentz in Austria. And it was a big, back then there were grand prix meets. It was a grand prix meet. Oh, yeah. I was like, all right, that's going to be my championships for the year. That's the one I'm going to go hard at. And literally, that's what I did. And I ended up jumping seven, six and a half again at that. And I was like, all right, I'm getting back. It's ready. I'm getting ready to go now.